Hi guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to um, pretty much do anything with uh, hard drives and partitions. So in for this example, I'm going to be um, resizing a partition, but uh, you could do pretty much anything over here. Uh, the program I'm using is Norton Partition Magic 8.0. Uh, if you don't have that, uh, you could either you should you should buy it, but there's obviously illegal ways of getting stuff. Uh, I'm not responsible for any illegal uses of my videos but uh, I have posted a video uh, just search P-A-K-I-H-A-C-K -A -A into the YouTube search bar and look for a video with a name similar to this how to get it's something like that uh, just um, scroll down the list and try to find something that says how to get programs, movies, music, and games, etc. for free. It, I don't know the exact title, but it's something like that. Um, so yeah, you can get the program off that, but that's illegal. So you at your own risk. I'm not responsible for anything you do. Um, I already I have bought Partition Magic uh, 8.0, so I'm okay. All right. So once you have uh, Norton Partition Magic 8.0 installed on your computer, uh, just pop it up and this is uh, exactly what you should see. Um, you can see that you have tons of tasks, pretty much everything you could do with par partitions and hard drives. Uh, create a new partition, create a backup partition, install another operating system, resize a partition. That's the one I'm going to be doing right now. Um, redistribute free space, merge and copy partitions. Uh, you can browse, delete, resize, convert partitions. You can do everything with a hard drive. Uh, okay, so this is what you c uh, this is the list of your tasks that you could do. Um, over here, these are the partitions that I have on my uh, hard drive already, and this is just a like a, another visual of the of the partitions I have on my hard drive. Okay, so you can see that I have uh, C drive, which is uh, huge. J, which is smaller, and L, which is the smallest. Uh, I'm not sure if this size over here is how much I've used or how much is in total. I think it's how much is in total. So I have 150 gigs of C, 63 gigs of J, and 24 gigs of L. Um, so I want to resize my C partition. You can see that I I only have this much left, and I've used a lot of it. So I want to take L and I want to put this into C. I want to take all the uh, I want to take all of this L and put it into C. Okay, so how I would go about doing this is um, picking a task from over here. I want to resize a partition. If you want to create a partition, click here. You, they're all like uh, links to kind of links in the program to a wizard that guides you through the step. It's very very simple. So just for example purposes and to tell you that this program actually works and how well it works, I'm going to click resize a partition. Okay, over here I'm going to click next, that's just some information on the wizard. Okay, so it says choose the partition to be resized. I want to resize C, I want to make it bigger. Okay, click next. And now enter the new size for partition C. Uh, see, look, over here I had 150 gigs of C and I have 25 gigs almost of L. 150 plus 25 is 175 gigs. This is asking for the new partition of the the new size of the partition. I don't want to completely eat up L because I want some uh, space for to put my very important files on that I don't want to be harmed in any way. So I'm gonna make this 170 gigs. Okay, I'm just gonna push the up sign. Uh, that didn't really work. I'm just gonna make this 170 and. I'm going to click next. Okay, now it's asking which partition you want to take this space from. Before you told it that you want to increase the size of, of uh, partition C, because right now it's 150 gigs. We said we wanted it to be 170 gigs. So it's asking where do you want this space to be taken from? Which partition do you want this space to be taken from? I don't want it to be taken from J, so I'm going to unclick that and I'm going to click on L. Oopsie I'm going to 
make sure that you only have one of these checked rather than take space from both uh, partitions. Oh, actually, I've made a mistake. See, over here it says available megabytes is 19.9 .9 gigs. So I can't really have this 170 gigs because a 150 plus 19 is 169. So I'm just going to make this 168 just to be safe. And when I click next, Okay, now I'm going to keep this checked on L. I don't want to take anything from J. And I'm going to click next again. And so over here it shows you another picture of uh, your hard drive, um, like just a uh, visual. Before it was like this. It had three partitions, big guest, big, and very small. Over here it's going to take this, make it 168 gigs instead of 150. See, partition J is going to be left intact. Okay, so nothing nothing no space is going to be taken from j and l is going to be a lot lot smaller okay so now all you have to do is click finish and the wizard should close and you should be at this uh, this again um, over here see it shows you that same picture again now to carry forth your um, your selection everything click right here it says apply so you can you can see exactly what it's going to do it's going to move and resize partition L to 64. And I don't know what that says. Uh, it's going to resize extended partition. It's going to move J, and it's going to resize C. It has to do all those to carry out the functions you want it to, you want it to do. So, uh, so see, it's it's very very simple. Just click apply, and it's going to ask you to restart a bunch of times. Uh, usually once or twice, maybe. Uh, this my my uh, like resizing a partition usually takes about 20 25 minutes. Uh, creating a partition, I think, takes uh, less time than resizing a partition. Uh, and yes, yeah, it's, it's it's a very good program. It's very very simple to use. It shows you everything you're doing. It's gonna t it tells you everything to do, and then all you have to do is click apply. Uh, all right, so that's pretty much it. Um, subscribe to my videos if you haven't already. Uh, it's totally free. If this uh, video has been any use to you, then subscribe and uh, I hope to see you next time. Thank you.